Hey, I'm Dr. Weiner, and uh, I'm a bariatric surgeon. I'm based in Tucson, Arizona. I haven't been on social media for a while. As I'm sure all of you know, times have been a little bit crazy. I've been involved in a COVID research trial um, and doing a lot of work on my practice, and I uh, just signed a, uh, uh, a contract with a publisher to put out our um, first Pound of Cure cookbook. So we've got a lot of things going on, but I want to take a second to kind of get back to uh, answering questions. And um, I've got a ton of questions built up. I'm gonna start trying to, to chip away at these things and answer uh, the questions that people have out there about bariatric surgery, about their success uh, and how things have gone. So let's start with our, um, our question for today. Uh, and it's from Thank Marianne. You, I am three and a half years post sleeve surgery. I've done well. I've dropped a hundred pounds and have experienced some some weight regain in the past year about 10 to 15 pounds and am working on getting that back down i am not uh pre-diabetic or insulin resistant or even diabetic but i am experiencing symptoms of low blood sugar typically after i eat certain foods uh, my blood sugar can drop into say 55 to 60 range. I started using a glucose monitor to check the numbers and that's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm controlling that by you know watching my carbohydrate intake, but I'm also curious to know if there's anything else I can do or if there's any other things, factors that may play a part in controlling those blood sugar numbers. So I'm curious to know if you've seen this in your practice and if you have any suggestions. Thank you. Okay, this is a, a common uh, thing that we see. Um, we see it much more commonly with gastric bypass patients. It's actually pretty unusual to see low blood sugar with sleeve patients. But essentially what happens is when you eat a refined carbohydrate, that will trigger the pancreas to secrete insulin to kind of manage and handle that carbohydrate. After bariatric surgery, this process can be exaggerated. We know that these surgeries work to reduce diabetes and to treat diabetes. And really what we're seeing with hypoglycemia is kind of the overshooting of that effect. And again, because the gastric bypass has a lot more anti-diabetes effects, we see it more commonly that, with that, but it's not unheard of with a, with a sleeve either. So the real key is to recognize what's happening here. When you eat a refined carbohydrate, it triggers the pancreas to secrete insulin and it secretes more than it should. And so it overshoots and your blood sugar spikes up from the refined carbohydrate and then plummets way down after the insulin is released. So the treatment here is to avoid eating the processed carbohydrate in the first place. This is called reactive hypoglycemia. You eat something processed and you have a hypoglyc have hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, as a result. And so the key in the first part of treatment is really to um, limit the use of refined carbohydrates and keep a diet log. When I work with patients who are really struggling with this, I have them kind of record everything they eat and their blood sugars, ideally also you should check your blood sugar. A blood sugar 70, 80, probably not that significant. You start getting in the 40, 50, maybe even 60 range. That's a very significant episode of hypoglycemia and uh, is a little bit worrisome. Uh, the other thing that we can use, and this is something you'd have to discuss with your physician, but there's a medication called acarbose. It's kind of an old time diabetes medicine uh, and it blocks the absorption of carbohydrates. It can cause some diarrhea and some abdominal cramping associated with that. Um, but I have used that drug over the years many times and found it helpful some of the time in keeping people's blood sugar stable. Um, kind of some, some things that I look for uh, are what types of foods trigger it. If something like fruit triggers it, then this is probably something that should be treated with medication. If it's mashed potatoes or crackers or white bread, then the treatment really is to uh, avoid those foods altogether. I think a final thing that you can do if you're struggling with hypoglycemia is eat a lot of beans because beans cause a very slow release of the carbohydrate in them. Our body breaks them down much more slowly than it does the carbohydrates in wheat um, products. And so when you eat beans, it kind of releases the, the glucose slowly throughout the day and acts almost like a slow release glucose tablet to help stabilize your blood sugar. I think one final thing to mention is that if this doesn't get better by limiting the refined carbohydrates, perhaps talking about acarbose with your physician, 
eating beans and other slow release carbohydrate foods that this really deserves further workup by a doctor to make sure that it's not something um, like a, an insulinoma, which is a benign tumor in the pancreas, which can over secrete insulin. Uh, and so there, while most of the time this is dietary related, uh, it can be something a little more worrisome and does deserve um, continued follow-up. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any uh, questions that you'd like to ask, you can go to drweiner.com uh, and scroll down a little bit and, and um, uh, record the question and send it off. And I'm going to try to do a better job getting to them.